So let's make some more modifications to the script. Let's play around a little bit. For example, what if you wanted to specify for every router? Maybe it's a different device type, or maybe it is different usernames and passwords. I'm just going to cut and paste here. So here I'm defining each router and switch separately. I'm going to take router 5 out. It doesn't actually exist. That was just to demonstrate the, the connection timeout. This is the real password for uh, router 3, the one we're getting the authentication failure on. Got a very secure password. And now what we can do is we can make a list of all these devices. Devices equals R1, R2, 3, R4, switch 1, switch 2. Now we're going to handle this a little bit differently. So just briefly, what we did here was each of these devices is defined as a dictionary. So here, NetMiko is using keyword value pairs. This is a keyword, IP. This is the value, keyword and value. So we're assigning this keyword to this value that's defined here. The dictionary object is exactly the same thing. It's a keyword that has a value, keyword and value. So looks like it's a good match. Let's try that out in the interactive session. So we've got a dictionary here with our keyword value pairs. And let's see what happens when we call the NetMiko connection handler. with this dictionary of keyword value pairs. And we get an error. So the problem is it's saying, hey, I can't find the device type. We gave it the device type sitting right here in the dictionary. What's the problem? Well, it turns out we gave NetMiko a single object, which is a dictionary. And it was expecting keyword value pairs which is what a dictionary is, but we have to unpack the dictionary in order for it to use, get access to the keyword value pairs. The way we do that in Python is with this notation. It's not obvious, but this is the notation we used, star star, and then the dictionary name. And then that will unpack it so that NetMiko sees what's inside the dictionary and not the, just the dictionary itself. So if we try this, it looks like it works. So the way we're gonna handle that here is now devices is full of dictionaries. We're assigning each dictionary to the word device. So this should give us the same exact behavior that we had here. So two things that surprised me. One is, I thought this was the uh, password. And for some reason, uh, we still get the authentication failed. And the other thing I didn't see coming was when we're printing out the device, previously it was just set to the IP address, which is what we wanted to see. However, I didn't update that. So now it's just printing out the dictionary. So let's modify our code to fix that.
we simply say device IP, give it the keyword. And we're going to want to do that here as well in our exception handling. And that fixes that issue.